Now to our other top story tonight, a big development in the Ray Tenzing case. Tomorrow we could learn whether Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters will retry the former UC police officer. Tenzing shot and killed Sam DeBose last year. He was on trial for murder or voluntary manslaughter, but the jury could not reach a unanimous verdict, so the judge declared a mistrial. Now on your sides, Julie O'Neill joins us live in the newsroom now. And Julie, what can you tell us about tomorrow's big announcement? Well, we're going to get an answer. Dieters will announce his decision at 10 tomorrow, just missing a deadline not imposed by the judge, but by a group of black Cincinnati clergy insisting he retry the case, as Bishop Hilton put it, to finish the model. Cincinnati can be a model for the nation, but the model is not complete. Bishop Bobby Hilton led local black clergy outside Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter's office last Monday, demanding a decision from him by today. By one week from the day, we would like to hear from Mr. Dieters that this case indeed will be retried. Hilton will get his answer from Dieters one day later. The prosecutor already giving clues as to what he will do after jurors in the murder trial of former UC officer Ray Tenzing could not reach a verdict in the shooting death of Sam DeBose. I'm very critical of myself and what I said in closing, and, um, and I think I can do a better job if we do have a retrial, and um, I just need to do better. Dieters on this week in Cincinnati promised a stronger cross-examination of Tenzing if he retried and said he would pursue the same charges of murder and voluntary manslaughter. Tenzing's attorney Stu Matthews told our Carol Williams he might alter his approach and said Tenzing would prefer a new trial to clear him rather than live with a mistrial. Could you ask for a lesser charge in the case of a retrial? We could, but I don't think the evidence warrants a lesser charge. Um, and our position all along has been we'll take our chances with what's out there right now. Again, we're expecting an announcement at 10 tomorrow morning, 9 on your side. We'll be there. We will stream that announcement live for you on WCPO.com, and we'll relay the information for you on air, online, and in alerts to your phone. Julie?